Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video is about the stalking narcissist. Is the narcissist watching you? If you're being stalked, always call the police. Thank you very much to the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about the narcissist personality disorder to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with in your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you overcome narcissistic abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. When it comes to stalking, it is the willful harassment of another person from repeatedly turning up at your home, bombarding you with messages or phone calls, getting friends and family to do so, turning up unexpectedly where you are, frequently driving past your house, frequently driving past where you work, frequently driving past where you go even moving across the road and sending you messages of what you're dressed in, approaching you, harming pets, stalking the children, calling your boss to make false accusations, sending threatening letters or sexual letters, any letters or messages, emails or unwanted gifts. They can guilt trip you with the I'm sick message to play on your sympathy. They can threaten to tell our insecurities to make us feel shamed and they can and will make up blatant lies to friends, family and work colleagues in their mass smear campaign against you. Stalking is when the narcissist is trying to intimidate you and restrict your freedom to keep control over you. Stalking often causes us emotional and psychological harm as we usually end up living in some form of state of fear. Those who continually stalk most often do suffer from some form of personality disorder. Not all narcissists stalk some are far too lazy however a lot will in one form or another even if that's just if you have children with them when they have the children they will bombard you with messages to make sure that you don't get any free time yet when you have the children they will completely ignore you. Some do it the other way around and when they have the children they don't let you get in touch with them as a form of control. Narcissists have the personality trait of feeling like they're entitled, preoccupied with power and success. And this often includes in relationships. They they have the arrogance that they can do as they please. They will exploit others to get their own needs met. They lack the emotional empathy to care for what pain they cause those around them. They don't have the respect to care for another person's boundaries or feelings or needs and their minds can be set on what's mine is mine. Narcissists often view people as objects and as supply. If they want it, they believe they should have it. If they're envious of another, which is another trait of the disorder, they can go all out to destroy the person they are envious of. Most abusers who are stalkers often have some form of substance abuse and will be addicts to at least one of the following. It can be drugs, alcohol, gambling, addicted to people, addicted to porn, addicted to having the best of whatever they can and extremely envious when someone has better. Being stalked by a narcissist can bring on extreme levels of anxieties. When our anxieties are already high from the abuse, it's natural for our brain to want to protect ourselves from the danger. Unfortunately, sometimes this can work against us as we can then exaggerate the threat within our own mind, making our anxieties worse. However, when it comes to a narcissist, we do have to take their behaviour seriously. We can become fearful of online friend requests going out in case they turn up. Gang stalking is another genuine issue when dealing with certain narcissists. This is also on different levels depending on the narcissist that you are dealing with.
It can become difficult to know who to trust and you can start suspecting anybody has been a flying monkey or an enabler to the narcissist. When you do suspect people are giving the narcissist information about you, tell them a different story about yourself and see which one the narcissist finds out about. Stalking is serious and you need to stay safe. Try talking with others who understand to give you the correct perspective while staying safe. Some of us can also try to minimise it and not take it that seriously. This is okay so long as we stay vigilant and stay safe. Stalking is against the law. However, getting the evidence for police, for authorities, for the law enforcement to do something is tricky when it comes to narcissistic people. So save any messages you get from them, from their friends and from their family. Take photos when they come to your home or do drive-bys. Call the police every time, every time, each and every time. You can feel daft, you can feel silly, you can question, well, I did this, but you have to call the police. You have to stay safe. Stalking is serious. When I was in a court case, the judge asked why I hadn't called the police more and instructed me to do so as soon as I got home in front of the person they wanted me to call the police on. So still call the police each and every time. You need to build up the evidence so they can take the action required. Narcissists will smear your name to all others about just how crazy you are. So when you tell them you're being stalked, they don't believe you. Talk with good people, people who understand you. Keep telling the authorities. Some hear you the first time, others it takes a while. Narcissists can be stalking your social media, setting up fake accounts to do so. If you've checked on theirs as you want closure... It happens to the best of us, but do work on stopping. Not all, but a few people do this. It is normal if you are one of them. As you want answers, some even check out their new partners. This isn't done with malicious intent, often just curiosity or closure. Again, if you did it, it doesn't make you a narcissist. It's about the intentions behind the behaviour and most narcissists stalk with a malicious intent. Stalking can often end up in violence so you need to keep yourself safe. Make sure the narcissist hasn't put a tracker on your phone. Even better, get a new phone. Some will put tracking devices in your car. Keep your phone charged up at all times and keep it on you. Stay vigilant. Don't worry about hurting their feelings. If they're trying to guilt trip you with pity plays, call the authorities, depending on what they're saying, so that they are okay. Yet step away, keep your boundaries high. Make sure all your location settings on your apps are turned off. Do not allow any app to show your location so the narcissist cannot track you. This is difficult because sometimes You need your location settings on so other family members can track you. So always do what is best for you. If you can change days and times that you go out, become unpredictable. Or on that drive to work, sometimes set off earlier, but not always. Or take a different route. Ask a colleague to walk to the car with you. Don't warn them you'll call the police. They don't take this as a cue to stop. They take this as game on and they will continue. Do not warn the narcissist what you are going to do because that just keeps them one step ahead of their games. Just call the police. So many of us like to warn the narcissist in the hope that they'll stop, that they'll see what they are doing. But this does usually make them carry on as they believe we question their sense of entitlement.
Keep your home locked, including your windows. Block the narcissist on everything you can. Block all their flying monkeys. Don't let them know anything about your life. Keep your phone charged. Make sure there is no tracking device and report every single incident to the authorities. Keep door locked. Know a safe place to get to. Again, call the authorities over anything, no matter how small. Also, once these steps are in place and you know what to do, don't focus on it. Live your life and enjoy your life. Do the things you enjoy doing. Stalking is serious, yet try to keep smiling. Try to keep laughing. It is scary being stalked, but you can still live your life and you can still keep yourself safe. If anyone has any advice on how they handled a stalking narcissist, please do add that into the comments. Many narcissists, when they're not getting the attention they believe they're entitled to, do eventually leave you alone and unfortunately find another source of supply. Thank you very much for listening and go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. You do deserve to have freedom and you do deserve to have a happy life. Bye.